and I just realized that my mic wasn't connected the whole time. Pretty annoyed. Today I'm going to be unboxing some computer components that I got off the internet recently and I got a couple of good deals on those so I'll talk through how I got them, where I found them, that sort of thing. Also I've got to go and pick up a used PC part that I'm buying locally so we've got to go collect that and bring it back and we're just going to generally be talking about some of this hardware and you'll get to see some of the things that are going to be coming up soon in the channel and just the general fun of unboxings. It's really just meant to be a bit of a fun video so I hope you enjoy it. All right, everyone, as you probably figured out from the beginning of this video, my microphone was not correctly plugged in to my camera when I recorded this unboxing. So all of the audio has been picked up by the crappy mic on my camera, which really sucks and it isn't up to the quality that I would normally like for the channel. So again, I am really sorry for the quality and I will have more content out soon. So if you don't like it, just switch over and don't watch it. But this video is a bit of fun and we're going to kick it off with a local pickup of a CPU that I found on Gumtree. So let's get cracking. All right, so we have the CPU now and the pickup was as easy as always. He just handed it to me at the doorstep. So we'll test this when we get back to make sure that it's working. But right now, let's race home so we can start all of that great unboxing. Welcome back, everybody. We've picked up the CPU, just in a very small anti-static bag, and it's already open. So this is not even an unbagging, let alone an unboxing, but we have an i5-2320. So this is an LGA 1155 i5, uh, so that's Sandy Bridge. The Sandy Bridge i5s, in my opinion, are still fantastic value for the money, because you're getting four cores and four threads, and this one cost me 25 pounds. I mean, come on. 25 pounds you can pretty much always get them for around the 30 pound mark and this is going in the next build that's coming up on the channel okay what shall we unbox next i'm pretty sure this is another cpu so we're going to leave that uh, okay let's uh, let's address the elephant let's let's open up the big one this is a bit phoenix and over case let's uh, move some stuff out of the way And, okay, bit Phoenix and Overcase, this will be interesting because I got this as well as one of the other parts off of Overclockers UK, but this is a B grade stock item. So I picked this up, let's, let's get, so I picked this up for £15 of B grade stock, which is just such a good deal, even for a Nova where they retail for I think around 25 to 30 uh, and this is the non-windowed version as well. So they're actually a really good deal uh, retail, like just the standard price is pretty damn good. And I would definitely recommend this case on a budget. And 15 pounds is so good that I just had to pick one up. I actually tweeted this deal out, but uh, nobody follows me on Twitter yet. So I've just made the account. So follow me on Twitter. The link is down in the description. Let's have a look at this case though. So the so B grade items might worry you. You only get a 90 day warranty rather than the full manufacturer warranty but you do get some crazy good deals so these are basically open box somebody has bought this opened it up decided they didn't want it and sent it back under overclocking uk's uh, return policy now most of the time this means that the items are perfectly fine i've bought b-grade right items before and they have been awesome so far, uh, looks like there's a bit of play. There's a bit of a bend in the side panel you probably can't see. Like that's not even a problem though. Like that, that does not register as an issue. The fan looks fine. I can't see any scratches on it. I mean, Bit Phoenix have a nice manual for such a budget case. This is an awesome deal. 15 pounds. That's what I'm talking about. This is going in an upcoming build, which is going to be like a super cheap, brand new PC that you can build for yourself. And yes, I know this is a pretty good deal, but seriously, have a look on OCUK's um, B-grade clearance items. 
You can find them pretty easily on their website and there is so much good stuff in there. Let's just put that there. Um, Alright, let's, let's open some of these. These are going to be pretty simple. Basically, these are... Yep. This is just loads of cheap shit I got from China. So there's a load of thermal pads. So I picked up 1mm thick and 0.5mm thick thermal pads. These are really useful if you have older motherboards or graphics cards where the, the thermal pads are going to be kind of old and cracked and you're going to want to replace them. So these are really good for those. And I just, they were so cheap, it was like less than a pound each. So I just picked up a load of, of 0.5mm and 1mm. Those are the two most common thicknesses. Just so I don't have to worry about them again. Um, let's see what's in. Yep. Heat sinks. And, and, and again, these were super cheap. I think these were like less than 50 pence a pack. And this has, I think, like 10 ish little heat sinks. Um, 10 or 8, something like that. Tiny heat sinks that fit really nicely on memory chips. But you could also put them on VRMs and things like that, as long as you have some thermal pads or adhesive thermal pads uh, to hold them on there. But I think this last one should be one of those. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah. So this is thermal plaster or heat sink plaster. Basically, it's, it's what it says on the packet. It's kind of like a heat sink glue. So it's a very thermally stable glue that you can put onto something like a chipset or onto your VRM so that you can stick these metal heat sinks on really tightly and you don't have to worry about them falling off. And basically these two things combined are gonna allow you to cool any tiny component you want on a motherboard or a graphics card. So really nice to have around. And I wanted to just bought, buy some of these. Like, I think all of this cost me less than 10 pounds. Put those over there. Um, uh, let's, let's open up this one next, because I'm pretty sure this is a motherboard from Overclockers UK again. I'm pretty sure it's the B-grade motherboard I ordered. Uh, oh, Overclockers UK are such babes. Like, so this is nicely packaged for a B-grade item. They've covered the motherboard box in uh, bubble wrap. So all of the B-grade items come in their original boxes, which is awesome. I've never had one not. So that's really nice. Oh, this is why I see UK the best. Three times back sticks. Oh yeah. This is an H110M-A M.2. So, this is a Skylake motherboard. And it's, yeah, that's about it actually. It's a Skylake motherboard. It's a reasonably nice model for a Skylake motherboard, Micro ATX. And yeah, I got this for I think 35 pounds. Again, B grade stock. Presumably, there's normally a cardboard insert here. Oh, that's interesting. There's no IO shield. <gasps> okay, that's interesting. So, B grade motherboards from OCUK probably don't have their IO shields or any of the any of the other things you would expect them to come with. You're not getting any of those, which kind of sucks, but £35 is a pretty good deal. Although, in hindsight, you can get them for £30 to £40, not B grade, just on sale all the time. And H110 motherboards are still a great option for budget PC gaming. And we're going to talk about that a bit more in a second. I'm just going to check the pins here. Okay, yeah. Motherboard looks in really good condition. No bent pins, no missing pins that I can see. That's fantastic. Now we're gonna test all of these things in a minute. The old CPU, new motherboard, um, and this thing, which I'll talk more about the build for this motherboard for, because this should be a Pentium G4560. Two cores, four threads, which makes it great for budget gaming. Okay, 
and oh, it's coming in an i5 box. Yeah, there's nothing else in there. Okay. So, Pentium G4560. This is in an i5 box because although the build that I'm going to do with all of these parts is meant to be a brand new build that you can make yourself like an early 2018 budget gaming PC, I did buy this CPU used, but I'm going to be marking it for the price of a new one. Uh, the only reason I bought it used is because, guys, I, I really want to produce these videos for everyone, but I just can't invest the money into a new part that I'm then just going to have to sell off as used because I can't get I can't get my money back for it if I buy it new. But this is basically, for the purpose of the video, it's going to be exactly the same. I got this off of eBay for £36, so I'm only saving about £17 off of buying it new, but that makes a difference to me. So here's the CPU, the Pentium G4560. So this goes into Skylake and KB Lake motherboards, so those are things like the H110, B150 and B250 motherboards, they work great with. Um, if you do go with the Skylake motherboards, you need to make sure that the BIOS is updated, although all of the ones that you buy new now should have the new BIOS. They should work out of the box, but if not, then you'll have to find a Skylake CPU in order to update the BIOS so you can boot in with your new uh, KB Lake Pentium. And with the KB Lake art architecture and what do they run at, like 3.5 gigahertz? These can, these can go, okay? These work really well for budget gaming. And yeah, they come with a heatsink. It is not a nice heatsink, it is pretty small, it is pretty crappy, but it works more than good enough. You're not gonna have any trouble cooling the Pentium with this cooler. So really, really nice offers. I think that's about it. One thing I'm worried about is, like I said, we need to make sure that this is up to date because if not, if the BIOS isn't up to date on that, then this just isn't going to boot. Uh, also, we have a motherboard to check our old i5. <sighs> yeah, so those are the parts we need to check. Let's get cracking. All right, let's get testing some of these parts. So we've got the motherboard and the Pentium G4560 up first. Then we have to test out our older i5 on that motherboard right there. But for this, we're not going to boot up into Windows or anything because all I'm really testing here is whether this motherboard is up to date so that it will actually support this CPU. And if it's not, it won't even get to post. So let's uh, let's just go for it. Get this out of the way. Also, I had to take out this stick of RAM from my main rig because I don't have any. Uh, any spare DDR4 RAM, and that's a pain because my rig is really not meant for maintenance or upgrades or part swapping at all. It's so impractical. But we got it out. Now let's get this heatsink on here. We need to get some thermal paste because, of course, this used CPU doesn't have thermal paste anymore for the heatsink. Just a little bit. Oh man, it's all over my fingers. Thermal paste is so hard to get off. Especially off of your clothes, they're just guaranteed to need to go straight in the washing machine. Oh, so easy. I swear they've made the retention clips a bit better over the years, because I remember some of them used to be a real pain to clip in. It might vary on the motherboard, to be fair. Sometimes when you try and put them on, they just require so much force. Anyway, RAM. Dominates a platinum with with this motherboard and CPU. Uh, it should work fine. I'm pretty sure it will work fine. I think we're ready. Power supply is on. RAM, CPU, cooler plugged in. We're plugged into the monitor, keyboard, mouse. Okay, I'm actually kind of nervous. That's a good start. I have an LED on my monitor, and it will turn green when it detects a signal. There, oh. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Come on. RAM, CPU, new CPU installed. Please, please enter setup. Don't mind if I do, Asus. Don't mind if I do. Yes, that's 
Pentium G4560 on an H110 motherboard. Total price for that combo, uh, and of course the, cool, the cooler was included. Uh, the total price was 36, 35, so that's like 71. Hey, cool, this, this motherboard has LEDs on it. On like the little isolation strip for the audio. That's pretty cool. I wonder if you can configure it. That's for a different time though. This is working fine. So we paid about 70 pounds for this. Of course in the build I'm going to be counting the CPU as new so it'll be slightly more but really really good value for money if you're looking to get into budget PC gaming or just build a pretty cheap PC anyway. Anyway, enough rambling. Let's test the old i5. Okay, I think we're all set up, power supply on, monitor on, CPU, RAM, graphics cards, ports, let's on off. Oh, I was not happy about that. It might just be getting used to the fact that there's a new CPU in there. There we go. Okay, it doesn't say our CPU model number, but it's working, and I don't think he swapped the IHS over from another CPU, that would be ridiculous. Alright, looks like we are good. Anyway, thank you all very much for watching if you have persevered all this time and got to this part in the video and haven't just immediately disliked and left it the hell alone. I don't know how bad the audio was just yet, but I imagine pretty bad. So thank you for watching all the way through. I hope you enjoyed this video uh, to a certain degree with just the unboxings and the rambling and the testing of the components. And moral of the story, B-grade stock is awesome. Uh, as long as you're not afraid to miss out on an accessory or two. And other more of the story, check out the channel and subscribe because we have some really cool builds coming up in the future. We have the i5 build that's going to be like an old school build, but it's going to look awesome and have some great features. And we have the Pentium build, which is just going to be a brand new gaming PC that you can build yourself in all new parts on a really tight budget. So subscribe to catch those. But other than that, this has been Frank Yeager with Yeager Tech. Have a good one. Oh, so annoying. Why? 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 Oh.